you'll need these two files. Um, well, actually, you just need the emulator, and then you need the BIOS. Uh, mine comes with the BIOS in it, but the, from the website, it doesn't come standard with that. And anyways, I'm just going to extract the emulator right to my C drive because that optimizes performance, oddly enough. Um, instead of having it some crazy place, anyways, um, I'm gonna yeah open. Computer, go to my C drive. Uh, there it is. Exe, run the executional file, and you'll get this nice little config setup. You hit config for your next video for your BIOS. Hit one, and when you hit next, you'll get an error. Don't worry about this error. This error will also come up if you try to reconfigure something. It's I don't know why it comes up, but it does. Anyways, here here's your biggest time you'll spend usually configuring the audio. You need to pick an audio port. Usually, I just use Pete's OpenGL. That seems to have the best success. Uh, but you can play around with <coughs> other ones if you have uh, least success. Now you can test it, but I don't even know what that does. Um, anyways, I usually to start. You'll want to keep your resolution there default on the full screen. Picture quality. You have different ones, but I usually just put it to don't care. Uh, texture filtering, you know, if you want smooth sprites or whatever. <coughs> I've messed with too many of these options. I usually just keep that also at none. Uh, high res textures, you want to keep that audio detect. Now put audio detect FPS and frame limit skipping. Now use frame skipping uh, or frame limit. You don't want to use the skipping unless you really have a weak computer. And you'll want to keep the off-screen drawing to standard. Uh, disable screen saver if you have a screen saver. You can mess with the other settings later if you want to. You know, that's your whole little thing. Uh, for the sound, I always keep the default one because it doesn't need to be configured really, and it works just fine. I don't use a CD-ROM, so I just hit next. Now here you can configure your controllers if you want to. <coughs> if you have a gaming pad or a controller, you can do it now. Hit done. And now here's the main emulator window. Now go to config, and you'll want to go to sound first, because you're going to want to enable this uh, XA sound, so you'll be able to hear music. And there's your stuff for game pads and memory card, and stuff like that. Now here you can hit run ISO if you have an image file created from a disk or something, or downloaded. Uh, just to cancel on that. Or if you hit file, you can uh, hold on, hit CD, run from CD-ROM, or you can run the BIOS, and then you click one it'll go into this thing you won't be able to see it right because well I'm using cam studio so just hit escape at any time it'll bring back the window and you can go to run and run again uh, 